Well, here are the other starters. Robinson we talked about, McLaure, who just missed the layup. Then Winfred Walton, he's from Pershing High School here in Detroit. Ron Banks and Richard Phillips. Richard actually was a last-minute replacement. That was Walton hitting the fadeaway jumper. First two for him. Mr. Basketball in the state of Michigan. They get the steal. Rashard pushes it out, and he'll pull up and take the three and knocks it down. I'll tell you, they're excited about getting him at Detroit Mercy. He is what they call a, an alternate player, and he's playing because Patin Cleaves is out. But he's going to be a good one for Perry Watson. Jones with the three-pointer. That one's going to challenge. I'm still not uh, convinced that it's better than what Kobe Bryant did a minute ago. But Ron Franklin, the Dick Vitale. And let's take another look at this move with, by Phillips. Oh, that's Rashard Phillips. He's the kid we talked about, the alternate, laying it on the glass. Good penetration move. Breaking down the defense. Dribble penetration. I think when you look on the matchups on paper, I certainly would give the edge to the East based on the reputations of the Thomases and the Kobe Bryant's and company. What a look. Walton, somebody forgot him. I'll tell you again. Mr. Richard with that pass, outstanding pass. It's a 19 to eight run, Dick, by the East. Dish inside, you gotta call it a pass. Couldn't get the tip to go, and Phillips pushes it up. I'll tell you, Phillips really can find the open man. There he is again. There he did again, and Walton, the beneficiary. I'll tell you, they're going to love this little guy here at Detroit Mercy, and he's showing he belongs on the floor here. He's an alternate player. Was thrilled that they gave him an opportunity to play. Tip wouldn't go. And Phillips knocks the ball off the East player. And so it goes to him. I think you're right, a heady player. I think his dad told me yesterday, I saw his dad, he said, you're going to remember my little guy. And I could see why this kid can play. And he has an enthusiasm for playing. Richard Phillips from Ferndale. Hey, somebody better tell him he's an alternate. I mean, this guy's <laughs> trying to be the star of stars. Hey, call him, Mr. Phillips. Take it easy. He's got eight points. They didn't even have a jersey for him this morning. I was having breakfast, and they were having a tough time finding a jersey for him. Three-pointer over the top, and uh, it'll come back the other direction. Yeah, I mentioned, there you see it. It's got tape over the name, and it's Cleves, if you look real closely under there, because Mateen Cleves was supposed to wear that three, but he has a hip injury, unable to play. And if the free throw line was just automatic. impeccable. It was automatic. 22-11. Oh, nice right. little dish right there. Wasn't it? You get a yep. look. <laughs> Phillips with that penetration transition broke the defense down. But in a game like this, you're not going to get a lot of help. So once you beat the first guy, you're usually going to get the wide open hole to the goal. Look at him. He said, "Hey, I'm not even supposed to be here. I don't even have my own jersey." And yet, look at him starring. I'm not sure those are his pants either. I think it's it's easy to watch Richard Phillips and say the kid really enjoys the ball game. Oh, he really does. He's got a smile on his face. Uh -huh. Hasn't been spoiled by a lot of the adulation. Look at the little guy. Look at the little guy. Hey, this little guy's going to be special in the Motor City. We're going to watch the little guy, Phillips. Here he is. He's an alternate. A little shake and bake. Takes the ball back. A little stutter. Cradles it, and takes it up with the left hand. I spoke about that at the banquet, about you can just feel the love that they have for one another. And uh, the sisters, volleyball players. Yeah, volleyball. All good athletes. Yeah, good athletes. She told me she didn't want to play basketball. She didn't like elbows and push. All-Stars win in somewhat of a mild upset as Richard Phillips has been named as the MVP for the West team and for the East. Actually, it's a pair of threes. Tim Thomas is you know, uh, the MVP. You know what's amazing? Rashad Phillips didn't even think he was going to play in the game last night. He not only plays in the game, he goes home with the big gold trophy, and he's the star of stars.